Do you want to go get mommy now? Mommy. Tell her we're shooting the show. Say we're shooting the show, mom. When are you going to sing? Yeah. All right, is Franny going to hold the cake? All right, grab the cake, get the cake. Okay, perfect, get the cake. Give it to me. Here you go. Go. Happy. You guys. Be careful, be careful. Sing it. Finish. Wait, oh, wait, no, don't. Wait, we have to do some wishes. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got one in. Happy birthday. We love you so much. We love you so much. Happy, happy, happy. I love you so much. And I love you, little one. We in the house. Come on. Tonight, join Jimmy and his guests. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Cole Sprouse, musical guest Billy Corgan, and the legendary Roots crew. It's the Tonight Show at Home edition. We are the house, y'all. And now, here's Jimmy. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Tonight Show at Home edition. Uh, it's a special day here because it is my wife's <laughs> birthday. The <laughs> producer, camera operator, uh, location scouter, uh, editor, yeah, we love you, honey, and I know you don't like it if I had a surprise. Double wait. Oh, yeah, don't worry about it. You'll get another cake later on, too. <laughs> but I won't tape that one. I, won't, uh, I will say, um, I did, my dad got you a gift. Stop it. Mm -hmm. <gasps> no. The best gift. No. Stop it. <laughs> oh, my God. Bring it for all of <laughs> My wife loves That's these the olives. In the world. Yeah, right. I guess my mom started doing it too. Yeah, when... she did. Graber oh olives God. is your favorite. Why do you even? Uh, are they're good. No, oh, don't. Oh. Don't speak. Don't, don't speak. speak. That you love them. No right to opinion. <laughs> I do, I do love them. But anyways, that's for my dad. Happy birthday. But, uh, and uh, I, you know, I have gifts. I have things for you and all that stuff. Aww. But I think you got the best gift. I think I did. From. <laughs> you can't even talk about it. I can't talk about it. I'm so Liza angry. Liza my new. Yeah, you know, Liza is awesome. Girl. Yeah, but she, she knows. She's yeah. a producer. She makes a show that we love. Yes. She, uh, called The Challenge. We love MTV's The Challenge. We are we the have. biggest. Yeah. And is our favorite, it has to be bananas, right? Yeah. Without a doubt. There's I mean, not even in, yeah. Not, yeah. We have others we love. Like, yeah. We and there's others really we do not like. Yes, there are others we dislike as much but as we Some human love. that we look forward to seeing every single time is Johnny Bananas. I think he is funny. I love him. I always liked him. <laughs> and so that's something we have. Anyways, you go, dude, where do you say this? It's the best gift. I so anyways, cannot even teach today. So she, for homeschooling? No. Yeah. She, yeah, you were so geeked out. Uh, our friend got Johnny Bananas to do a personal message for Nancy for her birthday, which is just untoppable. Uh, anyways, here it is. All right, this is a very special happy birthday shout out going out to my girl Nancy, coming to you from your boy Bananas. Nancy, may you live, may you love, and may your birthday in quarantine be absolutely bananas. Thank you, Johnny Bananas. Woo! Come on. No, that, I can't. This is a lucky year. It is it's bananas. It's going to be a great year. It's going to be a go. bananas year. It's going to change this Thank year. you, Johnny Bananas. Gosh. Thank you. Thank you. And happy, happy birthday, honey. I love you so much. I love you. Um, I couldn't see you from behind the camera. So. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, everybody, uh, we're, we're, here we are. This is Monday. And I want to thank everybody for staying at home and, and for washing your hands and wearing a mask and doing all the right things. I know some states have been uh, slowly... Uh, opening, which is great, and I want to say to those those states, thank you for not rubbing it in <laughs> for the states that have to still stay home because we want to do this the right way. And it's baby steps and small steps, and and for those states that have to stay in lockdown, uh, we're going to get there. And this is the hill is already over. We're over the hill. We're coming down. This is like 
this 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 time is just be safe and do it right get tested uh there's lots of testing out there if you can't get tested uh complain to someone i'm sure there's someone that can do something and get you all tested so we all can move forward and i think uh i, I can see a light at the end of the tunnel here guys so uh but thank you everybody for doing what you're doing uh i know it feels like no one is thanking you probably uh and it's probably because no one, no one really is. <laughs> but I am saying thank you on behalf of uh, my family and me, my wife, my kids. Thank you so much for, for uh, doing, doing what you can to, to, to uh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a tough thing. This is rough. But, uh, you know, we're all doing it together, right? And experiencing this stuff. So uh, I, I like to support whenever I can. Anyway, thank you for... Uh, doing that, and thank you for supporting me and watching the show. Thank you, NBC, for airing this. YouTube, thank who else can I thank? Johnny Bananas. Johnny Bananas, Johnny thank Bananas. him again. Graber Olives, we want to thank. <laughs> yeah. Fudgy the Whale, making a cameo. Yeah. Fudgy the Whale, making a cameo from Car all straight out of Carvel. All right, here we go. Guys, here's some potentially great news. Scientists working on the coronavirus vaccine announced positive results in an early trial. It's exciting from here. The vaccine will go through the blind auditions, the battle rounds, and then it does well there. It's going to Hollywood. During his briefing yesterday, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo got a coronavirus test live on TV to show that it's no big deal. That's right. They did the nasal swab, and uh, he said it was totally fine, although the, for the rest of the briefing, he did speak with a British accent. <laughs> we, uh, New Yorkers are tough. New Yorkers have to stay together. Uh, today, Governor Cuomo said New York sports teams should plan to reopen without fans. It'll be so quiet. The only sounds you'll hear are the crack of the bat, the pop of the glove, and the, adjust the adjusting of testicles rattling inside a cup. Come on. Come on. This weekend, during an interview with Janine Pirro, uh, Eric Trump accused Democrats of milking coronavirus lockdowns to win the November election. Janine Pirro was like, yeah, I totally agree with you. It's definitely a hoax, which is why we're doing this interview from the basement of our homes. <laughs> Some TV news. The last two episodes of Michael Jordan's... Oh, gosh, this happens to me all the time. The last two episodes were last Sunday. I do this all the time. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the, the biggest game in the world? Game five was like LeBron. Everyone talked about it as the best game ever. And I missed it because I watched Driving Miss Daisy. Oh, yeah. I don't, no one emails me. I don't have any sports friends. <laughs> the world watched it. They said it's the best game they've ever seen in their life. They could make an ESPN docuseries of that. I missed that because I go, you know what? Oh, maybe you were here or something. You weren't at the apartment. I go, I got a night to myself. I've never seen Driving Miss Daisy. I heard it's good. It is great, by the way. Fantastic. It's a great movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pat Lapone in there, make a little cameo in there. Maybe. Uh, it was a great movie, though. Uh, Dan Aykroyd, props. Anyways, loved the movie. Missed the <laughs> best game of the, the, in the history of basketball. Anyways, so I missed the Jordan thing last night. I watched Spade's movie. But, hey. well, I got time. Well, I have nothing but time, right? There's always tonight. <laughs> well, tonight it's birthday time. <laughs> Just tomorrow. But Dateline it is. <laughs> oh. oh, gosh. <laughs> I can't watch Dateline before I go to bed. Uh, anyway, sorry. TV news. Last two episodes of Michael Jordan docuseries, The Last Dance, aired last night. That's right. There was a lot of unexpected moments, especially at the end when Jordan was caught on a live mic in the bathroom confessing to three murders. <laughs> I did it. It's a little jinx reference. A little jinx reference. Timely. Our monologue... You know, sometimes not necessarily the funniest thing you've ever heard, but boy, oh boy, is it topical. You know? A little jinx reference. In the documentary, Jordan revealed that in his legendary flu game, he actually had food poisoning from eating an entire bad pizza. Yep, the food poisoning was really rough on Jordan. Here he was before the bad pizza, and here he is after. Come on, Papa John. Everyone's talking about this over the weekend. Nelly and Ludacris tried to go head to head on Instagram Live, but Nelly's Wi Fi was bad, so we kept cutting out. It was like listening to a Lil Wayne song on Radio Disney. I'm gonna you up, then you're 
in face. <laughs> That's right, the Wi-Fi issues were really frustrating for fans. When Nelly got cut off, they were like, it's getting hot in where? What? It's getting hot where? It's getting hot in... I saw that Graceland is reopening this week. That's cool. When they heard that, tourists were like, after sitting on my couch for two months, I want to see where Elvis sat on the couch for three years. I read that some states like Hawaii are asking tourists... Oh, I love this. Uh, some states like Hawaii are asking tourists to help them handle the coronavirus outbreak by not visiting. <laughs> That's right. After years of trying to attract visitors, now they're hoping to keep them away. A few states even unveiled some new tourism slogans. Check it out. First, Colorado, their slogan is, you can buy weed everywhere else now, too. Next up, North Carolina. Their new slogan is, trust us, South Carolina is way nicer. <laughs> then there's South Carolina. Their new slogan is, no, 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 North Carolina is by far the best. Then there's New Jersey. Their new slogan is, get out of here. Next is Minnesota. Their slogan is, it takes 40 hours to drive here no matter where you leave from. So that will deter tourists. And finally, there's Washington who says, we're basically Canada's armpit. Oh, that's, well, that will keep tourists away. Well, listen to this. A new study found that Jonah Hill has cursed in movies more than any other film actor. Yeah. At 376 curses, Jonah slightly edged out Samuel L. Jackson and Dame Maggie Smith. Congratulations, Jonah. I read about a new line of nail polish that smells like taco, pizza, and cheese puffs. Meanwhile, Americans are like, we've been quarantined for over two months. Our fingers already smell like tacos, pizza, and cheese puffs. <laughs> And finally, a man in North Carolina just won $10 million on a scratch-off ticket and said once the pandemic's over, he's taking his family on a cruise. When they heard his family grabbed the ticket and ripped it up. What's wrong with that man? Uh, that is our monologue, everybody. Thank you very much. We uh, uh -huh. It's on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.